Hello there, it's currently morning time and I look rougher than ever. Um, this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. But aside from this swamp monster look, I am going to kind of show you my morning routine and um, I'll show you like my makeup and the way that I make this go from looking swampy to hey she's alive so <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys that um and kind of what i do in the morning i am a college student i'm a virtual art teacher um and hopefully soon to be influencer so i am gonna just walk you through what a morning looks like in my world So make sure that I have a vanilla yogurt with um, honey oats in it. It's my favorite thing. It's been my substitute for sweets lately. Um, it's really great, 10 out of 10 recommend. Ignore the fact that it doesn't look very pretty because I got kind of snacky while making the video. Okay, so let's get into the makeup part. So my very first step is, let me get this to focus, I use a Marad um, oil control, like SPF, um, pore minimizing kind of base before I put on my foundation. And it's really nice. It keeps your skin safe from the sun and it really does give you like a nice matte finish. Then I have my foundation. I don't use anything fancy. I've got a Sephora brand foundation. There it is. Um, I am shade Claire Light in Oat. So that's, that's my skin color right there. Um, this goes on pretty sheer. I use the back of my hand. This is probably the most unprofessional um, makeup video you'll ever see. I do not use very professional um, <laughs> tools, I think. I just do whatever, whatever I do. And then what I do after that, there it is, is I take a beauty blender and I'll just blotch in different areas until my whole face is covered. Okay, so after I have my foundation on, I use the uh, Kat Von D. Ooh. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but there was like a big puff. Um, translucent setting powder on my whole face. Once again, I don't know if that's a step that I'm supposed to be doing, but I, I just do it because it works. So I put this kind of all over my face and you can see right now, I really do look like a, like a ghost kind of. Ooh, I look a little pale. Everyone's gonna come at me and be like, this is how you do it for real. And I'm gonna learn so much. In fact, I went to school for esthetician work um, for a little bit and I am still using the crusty brushes that they gave me um, as a, uh, yay, you're, you're a student here. Uh, so I'm still using the, the same brushes that they gave me. Currently I am out of contour. So what I use, I have the Madison Beer Morphe uh, eyeshadow palette, uh, but there's a shade on here that works really well if I apply it lightly as a contour. So I use the small end of this brush and I apply it to my, my contour zone, that little E, I call it, my little side E. And then my... You guys can see me working after I've done that. Now it's blush time. I use the NARS Orgasm blush. You can see that I really went kind of crazy with it. Um, I've had this for a while, but I give myself some color just on my cheeks. 
Sometimes I'll go on my nose, but most of the time I'm just chilling with my my cheeks. So you can see that gives me some, some color and if I want to do my nose, I'll sometimes add it there too. Kind of just balances things out, you know? Sorry if I'm looking over here, I have a mirror and then I have my camera, but it just balances everything out, so that's my blush. You guys will definitely have to give me some tips uh, in the comments. I'm curious what everybody else's makeup routine looks like because I feel like I've had the same one um, kind of like an old lady since high school, so... I mean, it's changed a little bit now that I've seen a couple people on like TikTok doing it and I'm like, oh wait, I've been doing that wrong. But I'm curious to see what, what you guys do kind of to, to get ready. You're gonna have to share some stuff with me. Inspire me. Obviously my eyebrows are not going to stay like this. I have the Anastasia uh, kind of like gel, brow gel, and then not the little brush that like goes with it, but just this off-brand $2 one. It works pretty well. Um, my eyebrows mean everything to me, so this is the part that I actually take the most time on uh, when I'm getting ready in the morning. Some days they turn out good, some days they don't. Okay, so I use three shades. Um, depending on like how dramatic I want to be, I'm back at that Morphe palette. It's been uh, kind of my jam right now. But what I use is this taupey color right in here. Um, I use this kind of in the front as a little light area, and then I use that same color that I told you guys I use currently right now for my contour. I just do it. It takes me literally like 15 minutes to get ready. Of course, I wear mascara. My mascara is the Milk Kush Makeup Mascara. Ignore the fact that it's travel size. Uh, a girl's been broke lately, so travel size is the way to go. hard. There's my, hey, my mascara. I have a Laura Mercier uh, translucent uh, like luminescent powder and what I do is I just put that on my cheeks and it just gives like this nice dewy look like right there and that's what I like for like my everyday gives me like this nice shine and it's translucent so it doesn't really stand out all too much and I do a little on the end of my nose I do the upper lip I kind of cheat I don't really have a brush for that I'm I'm back I just straightened my hair I figured I'm not going to record myself straightening my hair that's pretty uh, pretty easy. There's no like crazy hair tutorial. I just use heat protectant and a straightener. Um, but my very last step to my makeup looks is putting on this lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss. It's A99 see-through. It's MAC. It's literally the best. Um, MAC lip gloss is wonderful. If you guys uh, aren't familiar with it, check it out. But I just put this on. rub my lips together and I look like this. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like in the sun. This is me. Um, yeah, this is like my, my main makeup look, I would say. It takes like 15 minutes. Obviously, it's a bit longer um, because I am recording myself and explaining to you guys the different things that I use. Um, but this is basically um, my main every day. It takes about 15 minutes. Uh, so yeah, this is me.